I'm going to show um, you a little bit of what's coming in to Jumbo 1.2.0. We've added lots of keyboard support, shortcut keys, um, key codes, all that type of stuff. We've added the, our uh, smart groups up here now auto show up as you expand the window. So from the more menu, which acts as an overflow menu, you know, now they're in here. So if I mark it as anytime tasks, and there we go. Um, oh, and of course, the, the tasks have this newer um, collapsed, smaller look, right? To, to use up less space. Um, you can, we do have the old list view as well for those that like just a little bit of highlights on their list. So if you hit command, there's two ways of getting there. Um, here under the more menu or hitting command E and here we go. As you can see, we've redesigned everything, just fixed up, fine tuned it a little bit. Um, theme support is no longer gonna be in 1.2.0. Pretty sure about that. Um, it just, it gives us more time to add more features to this, make it more solid um, and whatnot. So. Um, what we've also added, so let's go back to this, is now inline editing. Notice how the eye is gone from here. Um, that's because everything, as I'm using my, uh, you can now hit, you can now enter and edit right from within a task. So under here are the notes, so I can enter some notes. Here are some notes. And you get the idea, right? Um, it automatically expands to the size um, based on uh, your notes, which is really handy. You can it really adds more note taking ability. To that, um, to extend that a little bit further, you can now also add drag and drop. Um, you know, let's uh, drag and drop. Uh, you know, ULRs kind of thing, right? And they become clickable as well. So you can click on them and now we have lots of get support windows open. Um, so uh, that is uh, our new collapse task list. And of course, all your other options that used to be under the eye are now down here in this, you know, a quick little way of, of changing things. So you can add tags. Uh, ULRs now have the ability to jump to them. So if you hit the ULR button, it jumps to it. Um, and of course, we have our due date. Um, postponer thing here as well, or the manual way. Manual way. Statuses now have uh, m multiple options, so there's either completed, you know, or not completed, or started, half done, whatnot. Um, there's that. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to show some of the keyboard support now. Um, what we've added is you can do a lot directly from the keyboard now from Ninja Jumble. Almost and anything you need, adding tasks, completing them, everything from the keyboard without using your mouse. Um, and I'll go through some of them. The left and right arrow keys actually allow you to go through your smart groups. If you notice up here, you know, um, up and down keys, of course, going up and down. Enter key, you can edit a task or view its details, right? You know, like that. Escape stops. So if I'm looking at a, you know, details, stop. Um, uh, another thing, of, an important thing is delete key, right? Now you can delete hitting the delete key, um, which is, you know, a, a pretty important feature. C key marks a task as completed, so I can completely go through a list and, you know, mark them as completed. Now we've changed the way sorts happen. It used to be, um, as soon as you marked a task as completed, it would jump down and it was, it was kind of jarring. Now, to initiate a sort, there's two ways. Of course, whenever you open up your window or close it, it it's sorted automatically. So, right, now it's sorted. Or, what you can do is just hit the S key and now a sort happens, um, which is very handy, right? So now I, so from the keyboard, right, I can mark this uh, complete, this complete, and a sort. Let's mark them incomplete. Same, all the C key. Also dates, I can now set tasks. Um, today's date, I can, I basically we have different options. Not any date, but, excuse me, um, I can hit T to mark them as today, due today. I can hit Y 
for yesterday. I can hit N for tomorrow. And of course, A for any time. Um, the H key allows me to hide all my headers. i show them again. Um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, so those are, are some of the things that uh, are, are coming. Um, you know, our smart groups up here, which we're calling them, the reason we're calling them smart groups is, well, I'll give you a little sneak peek. We're going to let you actually edit them just like you can create smart smart folders in mail and whatnot to, to dynamically, you know, based on title, group, uh, are they completed, due dates, anything. So you can completely take these out, add your own based on tags, groups, anything. Um, it, you know, basically using these things, you can add a new row. See now it's just automatically, if I add a new row and I might get title, title starts with D, jumble. You know, now I, I get everything related to the jumble, and that's now in the all. Of, now I'm not I'm not going to use that. I'm going to remove it. So that's really handy. So um, you know, I can do another one. I can mark it as uh, um, isn't hidden group. You know, and, you know that was basically based on the hiding thing uh, groups. So yeah, so those are some of the things that are coming. Um, this ability to create your own smart groups up here is coming not in 1.2.0, which is due very soon, like today, tomorrow, very soon. A um, couple more issues to work out. After that, uh, our next, you know, 2.1, it's all ready to go. It's not going to look like this. We're basically just working on the UI of it. Once that's done, you'll be able to create your own. Um, if you're really adventurous and want to dig into your actual data library, you can really edit these and change them yourself if you want, and you don't want to. You don't want to wait. Um, so that's a little bit of a look of what's to come, and uh, I think I've covered everything. Oh, yeah, there's a couple more things here. Um, here you can now email tasks. So suppose, for example, I put a ULR of Alan. At dc.ca, and I email the task. It automatically creates that task to that ULR or to that email address, with the title of the task as a subject and the notes as the contents. You know, very easy, um, handy, right? Uh, we have that. You can print an individual task as well. So if I, uh, you know. And this is kind of the look of the print for the task. Um, and uh, of course, links in here. Um, so that's a bit of what's to come. Come oh, a couple more shortcut keys. Command up. I can collapse all the tasks. Command down. Open them all. Command E. Of course, my old editing view. Watch has the old option this way. Everything's really the same and as well as your inline editing as well. So uh, that's coming out very soon. See you later.